Guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, we're going to be continuing on with our AppKit uh, macOS development tutorial series. And in this particular tutorial, we are going to be talking about why you should learn AppKit uh, in the first place. Now, this is a valid question, and it gets asked a lot. Why should I learn AppKit when SwiftUI exists? Why should I learn AppKit if technologies like Mac Catalyst exist? Can't I just learn SwiftUI? Can't I just learn UIKit? Well, let's talk about it. So, why, why should I learn AppKit when something like SwiftUI exists? Well, the reason for learning AppKit uh, you know, and as opposed to just Swift UI, is simply because Swift UI doesn't do everything. First off, uh, second, if you understand how AppKit works, if you know how to use it and make apps with it, you you know you'll know how how the macOS versions of the UI controls in Swift UI work, right? You'll be able to replicate how you do something in Swift UI in AppKit and create a better app that way. Right? Now, why did I say as opposed to just Swift UI? Well, the reason for that is because I recommend you learn both. I, you know, I recommend you learn AppKit in SwiftUI. Because, as I stated, uh, SwiftUI doesn't do everything yet. There's still certain things that you must use AppKit for uh, inside of a SwiftUI app. For example, one of those things is being able to remove entire menus from the menu bar. SwiftUI doesn't doesn't do that yet. You have to do that through AppKit. So if you don't know how to use AppKit, you're not going to know how to do that. You're going to have to do a lot of Googling. You might still have to do a lot of Googling even if you do know how to use AppKit, but you won't have to do as much, right? So that is, so that, that's kind of why uh, you should learn both. But it also needs to be said that AppKit isn't going anywhere right it's still getting new features even to this day uh earlier this month at wwdc appkit got some new features uh perhaps not as many new features as swift ui got but it certainly got some very important features including some further interop with swift ui so you can use more bits of SwiftUI code in your AppKit code if you would like, right? So, uh, so AppKit isn't going anywhere, right? It's been around for over t over uh, whoo, over forty years now, I think, almost forty years, if not more than that. So it you know. It, it's been around for a while and it's still going. It's still the main thing that's used to build uh, Mac apps. So really, that, that that's uh, my take on why you should learn AppKit. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.